My first panelist, uh, uh, Sardar Shokud Ali Kashmiri Chairman, United Kashmir People's National Party. By profession, he is a attorney at law, renowned Kashmiri leader, pro-independent, secular politician and humor, humor rights defender. Hailed from Pakistani administrator Azad Kashmir, living in Azad in Switzerland since 1999. Sir, uh, my request to Sardar Shokut and Kishmiri Sahib, Sir, floor, floor is yours, Sir. First of all, first of all, I would like to thank you, all of you, and my special thanks and gratitude over friends and supporters. Sergeant Hamilton, he is always nice and kind and uh, help us because we are belonging okay. we are belonging to that part which is almost ignored by the world community and also the ruler of Pakistan so I would like to read my statement regarding today's conference. Today, our conference title is Post Vision and Injustices in Jammu and Kashmir Strategies for Addressing Historical Country. Strategies for Addressing Historical Country. Dear friend, in 1947, the British India was divided. After the partition of British India in 1947, the Prince states were given the option of joining either India or Pakistan or remain independent. However, our ruler, Maharaja Hari Singh, The ruler of the former princely state of Jammu and Kashmir wanted Kashmir to remain independent. He signed a statutory agreement with Pakistan, but unfortunately Pakistan violated the standstill agreement of August 15, 1947 and stopped supply of essential goods like petrol, I welcome Madam uh, Kathleen Wurst. She is a, a, a MEP of the British Parliament and she is also very kind and always uh, support of the oppressed nation in the world. So I welcome you. Thank you. <coughs> On 27th October 1947, tribal men backed by Pakistan and its soldiers invaded the state of Jammu and Kashmir. The plan of the tribal invaders was to capture Srinagar. However, for the tribesmen, the primary purpose was plunder. The tribal invasion backed by Pakistan was another clear violation of the standstill agreement between Pakistan and the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir resulted in the death of thousands of innocent people, Hindus and Muslims alike. They the seeds for disrupting the circular harmony of the state and led to the division of Kashmir that continues till today. Thousands of innocent Kashmiris were killed, including children, women and young girls were kidnapped and later were sold out in brothel houses in Peshawar and Lahore. In the fall of 1947, the people of Jammu Kashmir witnessed many tragic events. The tribal invasion was one of the most tragic. It was the earth-shattering events. It was a deep wound which is still bleeding
it caused the first Indo-Pak war and subsequent wars that resulted in both government spending billions of dollars on weapons, including nuclear bombs, that could otherwise have been spent on the development. Pakistan has no local stand eye on Kashmir. Pakistan has no local stand eye on Kashmir. She is an invader, an illegal occupier. Pakistan back invasion compels Maharaja Hari Singh to seek military help from India. To get help, India asked him to sign a treaty of the state which gave India legal rights on Jammu and Kashmir. She made promises with Kashmiris that she pull out our invaders and she will protect, it, protect the life, liberty and property of the Kashmiris. This is unfortunate. India has failed to fulfill its promises and obligations. Indian Parliament passes a resolution in 1994 that the entire state of Jammu Kashmir is belong to India and she will reunite, re reunify forcefully divided Jammu and Kashmir. But since 1947, it did not happen. Instead of unification of the entire state of Jammu and Kashmir, India has dismembered the historical state of Jammu and Kashmir, demoted historical state into two union territories, Ladakh and Jammu Kashmir, without the consultation of natives of the state of Jammu and Kashmir, which made this conflict more complicated. India had planned on the entire state of Jammu and Kashmir on the basis of Treaty of Accession. Treaty of Accession gave native of Jammu and Kashmir to opt accession or remain independent. After such decisions, now Kashmiris should have given all options including the right to self-determination to determine their future. People of Azad Kashmir and Gargi Parsasa are living in a pathetic condition. Denied of basic human rights and fundamental rights, Pakistan already declared Gargi Parsasan as its province. And now she is seriously planning to merge Azad Kashmir into different its provinces, Punjab, and Khabar Pakhtunkhwa, which will create more chaos and uncertainty. Ladies and gentlemen, Jammu and Kashmir conflict, which stands as one of the oldest countries on the UN agenda, and the most dangerous nuclear flashpoint in the modern era, the crucial to the collectively addressing, addressing the challenges faced by millions of people in Kashmir and billions of people are people in South Asia. And conflict in Jammu and Kashmir examine the current state of affairs, examine violence and exploring ways to establish a secular, peaceful and democratic state for all the people of Jammu and Kashmir. As you know, extremism and violence have become increasingly significantly issues in our society. It is essential to work together to combat them. It is high time to take this conflict on priority basis to save lives of billions of people in South Asia. It is crucial to resolve this conflict and reunifying historical state and peaceful means. And as per wishes of a natives of former Prince State of Jammu Kashmir. We shall make strategies to recognize mistakes, find ways to redress this long and most dangerous conflict. Recognizing right of freedom of movement to all natives of State of Jammu and Kashmir, which will allow families to meet their loved ones who are forcefully divided since 1947. Their colleagues, it is the prime responsibility of the world community because we, the state of the is victim of the Cold War era policies. At that time, some states actually 
have the policy to combat communism. And that's why the, some of the strategic areas was hand over to the loyalists. Like Gangit Baltistan, she has the, a border with the part of the state of Jammu Kashmir, border with the child. Same is the case with the, the other part of the state of Jammu Kashmir. It is the responsibility of the Great Britain to put pressure on both the governments to resolve this issue because it is the policies of that era which divided, forcefully divided our motherland and suppressed our people and still we have no democratic rights, we have no freedom of movement, we have no modern um, era facilities and still our people are living in a very pathetic condition. I thank you very much and I urge <coughs> Fabian Hamilton and also Madam uh, Catherine Ghost to support us and also put pressure on both the government and also because it is, it is a known, known issue and it is on the agenda of the United Nations and there are resolutions that uh, examine and fix the role of India and Pakistan. What is the role of Pakistan? Pakistan's role is that she should withdraw its all troops and all those people who enter in Kashmir for the purpose of fighting. And India to reduce its uh, uh, presence and army personnel and give the right to the people. But unfortunately at this moment, in, in that area since 2014, there is no democracy in Indian side of Jammu Kashmir. And same is the case with the over areas. So hundreds and thousands of people are on the road. They have no electricity and the, the, the taxes and bills. The people are unable to pay the, the taxes. And uh, even they have no food. It is a very alarming situation. And, 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 and the people under Pakistan and in India, they need your att kind attentions to ask Pakistan to reduce the taxes and provide the basic facilities to the people of Azad Kashmir and Gangit Pakistan unconditionally. I thank you. Sorry for taking your time. Thank you. Uh, I verbally. Uh, and not saying the true statement regarding the Kashmir issue that forced Pakistan to comply that resolution which asked Pakistan to withdraw its all troops and all those peoples who enter in Kashmir for the purpose of the fight. And last 74 years, we are living under a proxy war which is based by the Pakistan and the India is playing a proxy politics. And we are the victim of proxy war and proxy politics. So British politicians should understand what the Kashmiri nation is facing. We are not part of India, but on one, one hand, that it, it was the British Parliament and also the Labour Party at that time ruled and passed a resolution that all the princely had has the right to decide the future status of the states. So at, at least we should understand those treaties, those UN resolutions, and accordingly if we take stand, then maybe Pakistan and India should listen carefully. At, at, at this time, nor India nor Pakistan, they don't want to listen because China is backing Pakistan and some of the other countries backing India. And who is the victim there? It is the Kashmiri people. And Labour Party especially, my humble request, is the responsibility to put pressure on Pakistan and India to resolve this issue according to the wishes of the state of Jammu Kashmir people. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you sir. You repeated what I was saying, sir. And no request, uh, Dr. Lakumul Lohana. At, at least for, we should clear about the Pakistani role. Yes, sir. Uh,